Hello, beautiful, brilliant black women. Girl, I hope y'all are doing well. God is born all. Listen, <laughs> okay. You know how, okay, we done did the we, we done did the social experiment, uh, bear versus man, all kinds of ways. Like, um, I'm not gonna say what I'm about to tell you that I saw um is the best, but I'm going to put it up there a little bit. And, you know, just for some context, we all know I'm a concealed carrier. But there's some, there's some shit you don't know, okay? So, I'll tell you a little bit about behind-the-scenes shit, okay? Okay, just for background information, I'm going to use USCCA. They, they offer a lot when it comes to being concealed carriers, but they also offer... Um, self-defense insurance. Yes, black women. That's how these these motherfuckers get out without ever being put in because they got self-defense insurance, honey. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I be keeping up with the with the um the violent ass uh pew pew uh white boys out there. Okay, because you can't get oh okay. Wait, hold on. I know Legion. And crossroad demons cannot be out violenced. They can't be out violenced by their men. They can't be out violenced by your men. They can't be out violenced until they piss black women the fuck off. And, and that's the only way. So, allegedly. So, um, <clears throat> so I go to the second most, you know, who are tactical. These motherfuckers is tactical, girl. Be running through the forest with flip flops and shit. Uh, uh, jumping over this and that and doing a tuck and roll because they Navy SEALs and that shit like that, right? You ain't fooling nobody, y'all. But anyway, they are about that pew-pew community. So when the bear versus man question came up, this notice man did not get on here from USCCA and say, what kind of stupid-ass question is that? Would I pick a bear or a man? A what? That doesn't, that's ridiculous. Okay, peep these, peep these white boys. That's fucking ridiculous. I'm a pick to be armored. <laughs> I'll put some armory. Okay. What the fuck would you be going around uh, with either of them without being armed? What kind of sense do that make? I don't get the question. <laughs> Who the fuck is doing that? <laughs> I give a fuck if it's, if it's a rabbit. I don't care if it's a damn bird. I don't care if uh, they mama's ex-boyfriend's half-cousin was a frog. Why would you be going anywhere <laughs> without your concealed carry? You can drop me off anywhere because I ain't going nowhere without mine. Why is you going anywhere without Charles? Man or bear. The fuck? I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't care if a stray leaf hit me. Okay? <laughs> it's something that's stuck, okay? The fuck? What, is, what does this have to do with anything? And then they were like, back to what you need, okay? So what you need is... I like the double stacks and the such and so. Girl, they be getting into it. Y'all don't know. Y'all, black women, start subscribing to some of these channels where you're going, oh, no, not a white man with a, a pew pew. Oh, my God. What's it? Girl, you better watch these little tactical white boys. You better watch them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're, when I go to classes, and I do, okay, when I go to classes and shit, I'll be watching every single fucking thing they do. I listen to everything they say because, see, while, while uh, Crossroad Demons, because, oh, they out at the range too. Don't you even think that that is not the case. While everybody running around here telling you, oh, you missed, oh, you this, oh, you that, blah, blah, blah. It's black women. They all weaponing up. You the only one without. In it. Well, now, some of them ain't skilled. Like, black men, they not skilled skill really most of them but that's neither here nor there there's it's it's worse 
to be a concealed carrier or a pew pew carrier and not be fucking skilled because you're going to destroy everything. You don't know how to aim. So that's why it's important that, you know, black women, you know, go and um, get your concealed carry, that type of thing, permits, right? So, you know, it's different in different states. I told y'all that. But girl, when this when this white boy got on here and he's like, man versus bear, what kind of question is that? Girl, what are you talking about? What do you, wait. I don't even go to the bathroom without my shit. So what? I wouldn't be nowhere. I would, and if I was here or there, both of them would be in trouble. Both the bear and the man, they both be in trouble because these boys are out here telling each other, "You better stock up on on some ammo," because see, they see that shit as currency. Mm-hmm. You need buckets of it. Let them tell you. It need to be raining buckets of it. And that's what the fuck they out here doing. While we over here trying to figure out, I don't know, uh, should Drake just dig his own shit and get in it? Or, you know, I don't expect Kendrick Lamar to be taking his time digging the grave. Yeah. Anyway, whatever it is, I'll be wearing red to it. <laughs> okay? Whichever one <laughs> be wearing red when Drake gets in that shit, I'll be wearing red, okay? But anyway, um, I digress. Um, let's not get into hip-hop news. I'm just telling y'all, when it comes to bear versus man, the way these white boys think and the way they've been trained to be tactical, to know about their environment, to understand how people move, all of these things. Y'all think it's simply, oh, I don't want it. You know what? I, I'm afraid of it. Well, I'm going to put it like this. Um, You ought to be more afraid of some fool pointing it at you or or taking your no to mean that they could put their hands on you and get belligerent. That should, that's right there. Okay, but I don't want to lecture nobody today. So anyway, okay, I do, but I won't. Okay, but anyway, I'm telling you, I go and I spend time with these boys, okay? And another thing black women don't get is that when you start working with these white boys, they don't treat you like you experience white women. The white the white woman whisperer, please, if you haven't seen her channel, go see it. When she um, had her discussion and posed the question, you know, as as to whether as black women in a corporate situation or a work situation of any kind will we pick to be in a room alone with a white man or a white woman and we all said no legion meaning no white women yeah absolutely we picking white men we're safer right so don't get it twisted and think that you know they don't understand who they've been dealing with too trump Trump's over there and crying because of the white women in his life, honey. But it still comes back to the same thing for us as black women, that when we are out in this world and say a black man walks up on you and he demands your phone number and then he becomes belligerent, that's not the time to try to figure out what you can do. Okay? I train... I learn, I train, I learn, I practice, and I get that from working with actual people who know what the fuck they're doing. They're experts in this. So you can conceal carry black woman. And and then white boys, they'll help you. You think they won't, but they will. Okay? They will. They understand. Now, they got a whole different power dynamic, but we all the same motherfuckers when I got when I got it just like the hunter got it. Huh? 
love you black women.